right, I've only got 26 minutes left of memory space, so I'm gonna take that as a challenge to keep this under 26 minutes of recording time. Let's see if I do it. Hey guys, it's V. So it is monthly haul time and August, in my opinion, is the best month because it's my birthday month. I turned 23 this month and I had a really great birthday so I'm just gonna get into all of the products that I got this month. So first thing that I got, I got a couple of sets from Sephora. The first one is of course my little birthday set which comes with a Marc Jacobs highlighter and also a really really cute little lipstick. I haven't even taken this out of the packaging yet to try it but I kind of want to swatch the lipstick and see what it looks like so I think we shall. I have tried the eyeliner before and I love it. It stays really really well in the waterline so look at this precious little lipstick. It's so cute. Let's see the color is kiss kiss bang bang. That's cute. Mine almost looks swatched. I am not kidding you guys. You just saw me take this out and I have not swatched it. Did someone swatch that shit? What the heck? Oh well, whatever. I mean, I'm going to swatch it anyway, so I'm going to wipe it off. But it's just a really, really pretty pink color. Gorge. I don't think I have something similar to that already. So I'm excited for that, even though someone already swatched mine. What is up with that? But I also got this really cool 500 point perk from Sephora. This is just the package that it came in, but it comes with a mascara, an eyeliner, a lipstick, and an eyeshadow. So I'm gonna show those to you guys. Um, basically, I was really excited to try everything. Like the only thing I wasn't super excited for was the mascara just because I don't know. I'm just not as excited about mascaras in general, but especially this liquid lip. I'm really excited because a lot of people love it. This is in the color fiery and it's this just exactly what it says. It is a fiery red color. Look at that. And a lot of people love the formula of these. Oh, this smells good. It has a sweet smell, but not a sweet smell that I've smelled before. So that's really cool. But I was really excited to get that in the set. And I was really, really interested to try the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner because so many people love this eyeliner. So um, I'm excited to try it. But uh, it does not look super pigmented. I don't know, it kind of like, wow, look at all that feathering. I have kind of like creasy crepey looking eyelids. I don't know how that's gonna work, but I will try it. I will try it out. And then we've got a Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. And I'm not gonna open it only because um, I don't wanna, you know, get it. I don't even know. I don't wanna start its expiration process too soon because I have lots of other mascaras, but I will put this in my stash of sample mascaras to try out. And then you got this really cute little eyeshadow in the shade Kitten which obviously I love, and it's a really gorgeous, pinky, almost a highlight color. I could probably use it as a highlight. So, so pretty, so, so happy to have that in my collection. I've been getting a lot of single eyeshadows lately. I need to do a declutter on my single eyeshadows because I have way too many and I need to rid of the ones that I'm not using anymore. So then of course I got the birthday gift from Sephora, which is an Urban Decay eyeshadow, which these are like, 20 something bucks aren't they this one is in the shade midnight cowboy gotta love it so it's a really pretty sparkly it's pretty similar to kitten um just a little bit more of a rosy color and it's got like glitter pigments in it and it's got really really fancy packaging next thing i got was actually an ipsy deal and i am so glad that i ended up picking it up because it sold out so so fast and it is this set of two sets of false lashes and you also got a black eyelash glue this is from elevation lashes and so i got these sets inspire 01 which are very, very pretty. The Shape Tape concealer video that I just uploaded, these were the lashes I was wearing in that video. And then I also got the ones in Thrive 01, which are just some very, very gorgeous wispy ones. These are what I wore in my Morphe 35O um, V-Vibes events video. And then like I said, it also came with a lock-on lash, super bonding latex-free lash adhesive. And it's a black lash adhesive, which I did not have. So I'm really, really happy to have that in my collection. I actually used it today. 
on my lashes and I also filmed a video on the Sephora favorite set which is where these lashes are from in case you're wondering and there's sort of like a mini tutorial in this video on this look at least the eye part of it so if you're interested in that then watch that video it's gonna be up here it's gonna go out later than this video because this video is going up today but it will be up next week sometime so look forward to that coming up soon then I was stalking the Sephora just arrived section and I saw the house of lashes lash adhesive which I know everybody on YouTube talks about how much they love this stuff and it's only nine dollars is anybody else surprised by that price tag I don't know I'm pretty surprised by it but it smells really really good which I don't think anybody ever says about a lash glue it has a very just perfumey sweet nice smell to it and it's very iridescent as you guys might be able to see um, it's got like a green pink iridescence to it I'll have to say though it is not my favorite I know a lot of people say it's really hard to get off I cannot get my lashes to stick with this stuff on I don't know it's kind of weird I'm still trying it out maybe I'll like it more once I use it a little bit more but I don't know I'm not a huge fan of it yet but that's not to say my opinion won't change because it could. I made a little trip to Ulta because I noticed that I didn't have a light pink highlighter in my collection. And what kind of YouTuber am I if I don't have a light pink highlighter in my collection? So I got the Lorac Illuminating Highlighter in the shade Moonlight, which I mean, let's be real, just the name alone, I liked it enough to buy it. But it's this really, really gorgeous pinky highlight. All this... All the powder stuff that I got this month looks very, very similar, but it's just a really, really gorgeous, iridescent, almost light pinky highlight. It's what I have as my highlight today. So if you are wondering how I got that glow though, it was from this and it was like $22 at Ulta and it's a really big pan, very luxurious packaging. I like it a lot. So I've been using it all month long since I got it. I got a couple of new brushes. The first one is from It Cosmetics and it is the Airbrush number 124 Precision Smudger Brush. And I got this because I saw Tati Glam Life Guru use it in one of her videos and it was like $12 at Ulta and I don't know, I just really wanted some points, I guess. So I decided to pick it up and it is the perfect brush you guys it's so good for the top like a little corner action little outer corner or just to blend out the crease a little bit more the lower lash line precision smudging like it says that it's for this is just a really good brush it's only $12 for an it brush and I really really like it so I've been enjoying it a lot and then Sir Blakington my boyfriend got me this one for my birthday because I texted him and I was like hey you know what uh, if you did didn't really have anything in mind for a present for me um I really wanted this brush from Smith Cosmetics and they're doing free shipping from Canada right now so maybe you should get on it and uh, he ended up getting it for me it is the 253 I believe it's the small eyeshadow brush but it's got this really really cool pointed tip to it almost like an arrowhead which I just really really was into I really wanted to try it and I gotta say I love 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 this brush for packing on color onto the lid it's just the perfect size for my eyelids they do have a larger version but I really like this smaller version and I've been and getting a ton of use out of it since my birthday which is when I got it it's also got a really really cool barrel on it it like looks wooden I don't even know what it looks like but it's just perfection I love it so so much next thing that I got is something new that Ulta has and I don't think they've had them before but it is some foamy soaps and if you have watched any of my empties videos there's usually a Bath and Body Works foamy soap in there because Blake and I are children and we only like to use foamy soaps. So I ended up getting two of their foamy soaps. I think they're $6 a piece and they're usually buy one get one half off. So you can get two for $9. And these ones I really, really like. They are strongly scented though. I will say like they are much stronger than the Bath and Body Works foamy soaps. And this one kind of makes a little like shrieking noise when you go back up on it. Like I'll show you that's not the best thing ever but this other one doesn't do that this one is in the color f color this one is in the scent freshwater mist and let me just wipe off this foam but you guys can see it's foamy 
I'm not a liar. Now I'm gonna smell like fresh water mist for the rest of the video, but I'm okay with it because it smells really good. And then this one is in coconut cream. I really, really love this one. It's just a nice tropical coconutty scent and I have been feeling it. I put this in my sink in my kitchen and legit like when I use the bathroom, I will go out of the bathroom and go into the sink in the kitchen so I can use this one because I like the way it smells better than the fresh water mist one. I know that's weird. I'm sorry that you guys needed to know that information, but I felt that it was pertinent to the conversation. Next thing for my birthday, my best friend Sam, y'all know her. She's been in a couple of videos here. She got me the Lancome Sills Booster Full Size Mascara Primer. I think that she got tired of me saying I want that, but I don't want to pay $25 for it. So she paid the $25 and she got it for me. I haven't used it yet because I'm still using up my other ones that I have, my other primers, because I just wanna save this for the rest of my life and be able to use it forever. So I haven't opened it yet, but I'm super, super excited that I now have the full size of it. And then she also got me a beauty blusher. I have been eyeing this little sucker for a little while, but $16 is quite a bit for a sponge. So I didn't get it. So that's what birthdays are for. And I did the same thing for her. Like she really wanted the 35.0. And so I got that for her and I got her a beauty blender. So it was just a makeup birthday year for me and her. But yeah, so she got me the beauty blusher and I've been absolutely loving this for the under eyes just for blending out concealer and for putting powder on top of the concealer. I don't really bake, but like if I was gonna, I would use this. And I've been loving this little sucker so, so much. And speaking of under eye concealer, I got the Tarte Shape Tape and I do have a full video on it, so I will link it up here for you guys. But it is just as amazing as everyone is saying it is. And I feel so bad for saying that because it's never in stock and it's $24. And it's an Ulta exclusive. Like there's a lot of cons to like the availability of this product, but it's so good. It's so, so good. I have it on my under eyes today and I just, since I did that video on it, I could not stop using it. So I don't know what to tell you guys. It's worth the hype. It's so good. Next thing I got is a mask from Lush. It is their Cupcake Fresh Face Mask. And um, this mask, it's not very appealing when it's on your face because it looks like straight up dookie but it smells really nice. It has a nice lush chocolatey scent to it and it's made from like chocolate and stuff and it's really good for breakouts and I got it like right before I was about to start my period because I always break out really bad on my chin area, hormonal stuff, hormonal? hormonal stuff, hormonal stuff. And uh, yeah, so I got this and I liked it a lot. It smelled really, really nice. It was a very luxurious feeling on the skin and it made me look like I had a poop beard for like 30 minutes. So I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that, I guess. <laughs> Next thing is kind of a YouTube made me buy it type thing. I've seen a lot of people talk about this, so I decided to pick one up. It is the NYX Très Jolie Gel Pencil Liner, and I got it in the brown shade because I didn't need another black eyeliner, and I use brown eyeliner a lot on my lower lash line, but the one that I have is discontinued, so I was like, I need another one so that I can tell people that this one is good also. So I got the brown one, and I really, really have been liking it, you guys. It's a really, really pigmented dark brown eyeliner. It's really really good for bringing out blue and green and hazel eyes. Super super good for that. It's a really really nice formula. It stays in my waterline for like half the day. Not all day but half the day. It's pretty good and um, I don't really have to reapply it very often and it's got cool packaging. Nice gradient to it and it's not very expensive. I think it's like $12 from NYX so I've been really really liking that so far. Next thing I got is another thing I got from an Ipsy exclusive. This is the My Sculpted Face Palette from It Cosmetics. This was actually on an exclusive with Ipsy for only $20. I think this is normally like $42. So I ended up picking it up and it's just got some really, really pretty contour shades and two highlight shades in there. The Taylor here on YouTube talks about how amazing this is for pale skin. And I have the pale skin. So I wanted to pick this up because I just wanted to and it was on sale. That's my reasoning and it's sad, but it's true. And the last, last thing that I picked up this month is Bruja from Lunatic Cosmetics Labs. It's one of their um, just regular lipsticks. I've tried their like cream liquid type lipsticks and I wasn't a big fan of those, but 
how can you go wrong with just a regular lipstick, you know? And this packaging is so cool. It's just a bullet shape. It's so awesome. I ended up getting this off of Dolls Kill and I think it was on sale for like $13 or $14. So really good deal for that. I haven't even swatched it or anything yet. It's still so pristine, but it's this very, very cool purpley color. I like looked up a bunch of swatches on Instagram before I bought it just to make sure that I would like the color and I do like it. This is my first time swatching it. Look at that. Oh, I love colors like that. It's kind of similar to what I have on, which is Lumiere 2 by ColourPop, um, but it's a little bit lighter, but it's just a nice lavendery, plummy, mauvey, great moment. I will say that the packaging on this is like somewhat cheap feeling though. It's very plastic. It's not like made of anything like metal or anything like that, but I'm excited to try that color because I love me a plummy purpley nudie color for sure. So that is everything for my August beauty haul. If you guys like this video, be sure to show some love to the like button. Let me know if there's like anything in this that is y'all's favorite thing that I need to try. Like some of the stuff I said I haven't tried yet. Let me know down in the comments below. And if you subscribe, you can be a member of my Muse family. And I love you guys so, so much. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.